she a little beast. 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 If you like the ponytail that I did with it, definitely let me know. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, this is my first talk through, so I know I did a lot of rambling this time, but I will do better. I'm going to get better. So just stick with me. Um, again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to follow me on my social media. So, like I said, eyebrows are already done. I concealed them and I set them with my Revolution powder. So, I'm going to be using this brown today. And probably one of these golds. One of these beautiful golds. First, I'm starting out with this brown right here. It's going to be my transition color. And I'm just using a fluffy brush to apply this. And again, I've already concealed and set that concealer for my eyebrows. So that's, the, that's serving as um, a slight little highlight up there. So I'm not going to go up too high with this brown. I'm going to go in with the darker brown that I pointed out to you guys right on top of this. And deepen that color. See? And we're just going to blend that out. I'm going to go ahead and use this Ultra Palette right here. And this brown that I'm putting on here is just like the same brown that I just showed you. But it's a little bit darker. Okay. It's a little bit darker. Just again, put some more different shades of brown on my eyes so that this neutral eyeshadow will look very natural. Spray my brush with this Mario Badescu just to wet it a little bit so that the color will stick for my shimmer shadow. And yeah, I will go ahead and use the champagne color in the Revolution palette that I have. Beautiful champagne, beautiful, beautiful. These colors are so beautiful, but when I first apply them, I'm never really too impressed. So I always just keep applying a little bit more and more and more. And then I'm going to, I guess I do an orangey color. Because I always do pinks and purples. I guess I do an and I'm just starting that where I just stop the champagne cover and carrying it over to the far center of my lid. And I'm actually going to put another color over here. It's going to be a matte color. So you don't want to bring that over too, too far. This is supposed to be a really quick look, so... Hopefully it doesn't take too long. But I do love this, this champagne to copper transition. This is really pretty. And again, I'm just concentrating that where I wanted to go with this flat top brush. It's pretty small and flat, so my colors normally go where I tell them to go with that brush. Now I'm using a smaller fluffy brush, smaller than the one that I used to apply those darker browns. And I'm taking that, um, I'm taking this black shimmery color right here. And you can see, it. I don't my nails. You can see this black shimmery color right here. I'm taking that and I'm putting that right where that copper color ends. And I'm not going past that crease right here. Because I want this to look like a ombre, like a feather thick ombre to a smoky eye. But I don't want to make that smoky eye too dark by extending it too far past my, my crease. For today, I might, I'm going to put a little bit of gold in the corners of my eye. And I'm going to highlight my eyebrow bone. And that's going to be the end of that. 
So like I said, pretty simple, pretty easy. Just put some gold there. Give me some dimension. Go ahead and apply uh, one my first coat of foundation. And then after that, I'll go ahead and conceal. So I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me in the color 362. This is actually kind of dark for me, but since I'm going to be doing a highlight today, it doesn't, it's not going to bother me. So I'm just starting by applying it right in the apples of my face. And just blending it all around. And I'm not um, concentrating this too much close to my eye. Um, more like around my lips, around my nose, around my hairline. Because around my eyes is what I'm going to use my concealer on. So now that that is done, I'm going to go ahead and apply some um, some of this Revolution setting powder in the darker color. And find it straight where I put the concealer under my eyes and breathing my nose. And I don't use too much of this, but because it's pretty dark, um, and it's got a pretty good consistency, and it's pretty full coverage as far as going where I need it to go. Sneak this I love Cardi B, y'all. Nothing. I'm just a sharp thing that I should all just put some right there. So I'm not going to allow this to sit on too long. I'm going to use my um, fluffy blending brush. And I'm just going to blend it out. And brush that away. And I love this blending brush. It's from um, it's a real technique brush. It blends so well. And obviously, I'm pretty light right now because I just I thought all of this powder. But I am going to bring some of this color back. I'm using this LA Girl Pro Concealer in the darker shade. Um, espresso. Putting that right there. And I'll punch it area. And I'm using this brush. Putting that in right there. In circular motions. Right where the contour goes. They said it need else was about what? When I get big fat, big fat, big fat. It went about it the wrong way, so we can't fix it. Mm, oh, so mm. she mad at you, so she come for me, for me get back. Uh, next time you bring me up, just make sure you stay big fat. Big fat, big fat, big fat, big fat, big fat, big fat, big fat. I want to put a little bit of this around my edge of my face. And on the edge of my nose on the side. Big fat, big fat, real big fat. Now this contour is not dark, big 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 dark at all, but it is darker than my foundation and my concealer so it works as my concealer so give me just a little definition without making me like milk dust dark Okay, so I want to take some of the orange that I put under my, I mean, I'm just like on top of my eye. I'm going to take that and put it under my eyes. A little bit of that. I'm using an angle brush to not make a mess, but I'm still trying to make a mess. And I'm using that sparkly black right over here in the corner. And then I'm using this angle brush 
is to keep a clean under eye. A clean. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> trying to keep a clean look. Okay. So I'm putting your orange under this eye here. And I'm putting it a little bit closer to my waterline. That is kind of cute, guys. This is the Lancome uh, mascara. I like it, but it's not my go to because it's not quite black enough for me. But it definitely gets the job done. Oh. But I'm gonna use my pink concealer in that area. And I'm just putting that right here on the tops of my cheeks. And usually I use a um Usually I use a small fan brush for this. But I've been watching YouTube lately. And I've been liking the way they achieve their highlight by using a small fluffy brush. And I just like to smile to make sure I get that nice curve right there. To make it look like a natural curve. Instead of just like a strip of highlighter. Oh yes. And those. What is my song? It will come on at the end. Yeah, this is my contour side, so I can just kind of clean up my nose. Mm -hmm. Okay. Blend up. I do like blending with this. Well, doing highlighter with this. Let's see, buddy. Put a little bit on the top of my brows. Well, under my brows as well. Riding in the motherfucking roads. Damn, yeah, look at Zaddy in my hoe. Voice. Hey. Clothes. Voice. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Okay. So, last but not least, before I go, I'm going to go ahead and do a loop. Um, it's going to be a very simple look. What I'm actually going to do is just conceal my lips with this darker concealer. Which is weird. And again, this is the color Espresso. But I do just want a natural look. So, concealer. Sometimes I use the concealer out of my palette. For new lips. Sometimes I just use any concealer. Um, everyone loved this new lip that I did uh, a few months ago. It was super light and it was lined with a lip liner. And everybody loved it. But it was with concealer, like, I'm not a huge lipstick buyer, so, so I'm just going to take this with this brown powder I have. Because I just, again, wanted a new lip. Because I really wanted to do a really natural eyeshadow, but I still ended up going overboard. But I definitely like the way the look came out. I hope that you guys like it. Well, I hope that you guys love it. Because I love it. If you like the ponytail that I did with it, definitely let me know. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, this is my first talk through, so I know I did a lot of rambling this time, but I will do better. I'm going to get better, so just stick with me. Um, again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to follow me on my social media. Um, don't forget to... I mean, I'm trying to think of everything before y'all go. 
Don't forget to uh, add me on Snapchat because I love to snap. Snaps it up. And yeah. If there's anything that you think that I should add to this look, then definitely just let me know.